good morning dear students good morning sir hope you are all doing great yes sir dear students today we shall discuss definition nature and scope of linguistics this is the first topic in your syllabus so what is linguistics linguistics you, you you have it is a combination of two words okay it is a combination of two words here you have lingua and the other word is sticks okay this is this is how it is linguistics and this is this word linguistics is derived from uh, the latin word okay this lingua is a latin word what does lingua mean lingua means tongue tongue and sticks means knowledge okay what does it mean it means knowledge or you may say science earlier you know they 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 they, they were uh, like uh, considered to be the synonyms okay knowledge say science so sticks means science and lingua means tongue but tongue here doesn't have anything to do with taste okay it does not have anything to do with taste it has to do with language like lingua franca i hope you know the word lingua franca so the word linguistics has been derived from the latin word lingua and sticks which means language and it sticks means science so what is it linguistic is the scientific study of human language okay what is it it is the scientific study of human language this is very important scientific study it is the scientific study of of human language remember human language we are not talking about animal language we are just talking about human language and this is scientific why because it is a systematic study it is a kind of empirical study is based on observation and research data collection and then uh, arriving at the conclusions towards the end that is why it is scientific study so the word linguistics as you see is derived from the latin word lingua which means tongue that is language and sticks that means science so it is the scientific study of human language okay what is it it is the scientific study of human language however it is not the study of one particular language but of all human languages in general okay when you are talking about phonology we are studying only one language like we discuss you know the 44 phonemes right so the, there when, when, while we were talking about 44 phonemes we were talking about we were talking about phonetics right and we discuss english phonology also so it's not the study of one particular language but of all human languages in general means the languages which are spoken all over the globe globe all over the world it studies language as a universal and recognizable part of human behavior universal the language is something universal you know all over the universe i mean all over the globe people uh, communicate through language people co communicate through words sentences utterances so this is a universal and recognizable behavior and recognizable note down the words recognizable why why do i say recognizable human behavior why because you know like even in your own country you recognize a person by the way he speaks or the language he speaks you can make out you know if a person is from ireland he would speak irish if a person person is from poland he would speak polish and if a person is from scotland then he would speak scottish so there are dialects there are languages so you know a person you recognize a person you identify a person through his language so what is it you know you under linguistics 
linguists study language as a universal and recognizable part of human behavior you know it would not be an exaggeration if i say almost everything that we do almost everything we do you know it uh, comes under uh, say linguistics or involves linguistics because you know you, you 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 cannot imagine life without words you cannot imagine life without sentences you know this this is this is i must say the greatest gift to human beings that we can communicate through languages uh, through words and all over the globe people are communicating although they have different signs different symbols different languages yet they all communicate through language whereas animals do not animals or you may say that we do not understand the way they um, the animals you know communicate maybe they they might be communicating uh, com they might be communicating among uh, themselves but their their language i must say is not comprehensible to us we cannot comprehend that language anyway now you know yes i repeat that linguistics is the scientific study of human language remember this it is it is it is a study of universal and recognizable human behavior all over the globe and as for the definition because the first point here is definition so i have got some definitions which i would like to read them out to you these i have taken from dictionaries you know the well known dictionaries i hope you have taken it down so i am removing it yes this the first definition which i have taken is from the cambridge dictionary okay cambridge english dictionary it says that linguistics is the scientific study of the structure and development of language okay i might even write it so that you may take it down yes yes what is linguistics it is this is this is from cambridge okay cambridge english edition according to cambridge dictionary it is the scientific note down the word scientific it is the scientific study of the structure of the structure of the structure and development of language and development you know i have not uh, rubbed it off because you know i, I might uh, refer to it while uh, while talking about phonetics or phonology that's why you know you still have uh, the picture of organs of speech there on the board so it is the scientific study of the structure and development of language language you may take it down in general or of all, or of particular languages in general in general means of all languages languages taken all together in general or of a particular language or of a particular language that is a specific language given language for example it can be english french Russian or say Hindi, uh, for that matter. So note down the words here. The structure, for example, you know, if we are talking about the structure of English sentences, so what is structure? Do we do we have there? It is a scientific study of the structure. S plus V plus O. This this is the structure that we follow in the English language. So what what does linguistics do? makes a scientific study of the structure and development you know language is continually growing language is not something something is static for example you know like lexical items in a language for example nouns adjectives and all okay or say adverbs for that matter they 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 grow they continue to grow certain words which you could not imagine uh, for example pizza and all or cappuccino 
like they they were not there um uh, uh, i i mean people were not aware of them especially uh, uh, say the vocabulary that he used for computer for example mouse if if i fate about mouse in you know, a mouse is something which was unknown to william shakespeare or his contemporaries why because computer did not exist there so language is continually growing especially uh, uh, as far as nouns are concerned okay verbs remain the same okay but uh, because the, you know seldom do we see uh, increase in, in the number of verbs and verbs verbs remain the same whereas the lexical items i'm talking about now once and all they keep growing okay so they, they, they it is a scientific study of the structure and development development means that means that is through time through history how language has evolved you, you know english is just not the same what it was spoken in chaucer's time or say in shakespeare's time or in, in like you know it is continually growing it's changing so this, this this is this is the definition which i have taken from cambridge english dictionary